and we are in Marbella here in Spain and uh, even put my special shirt here because today we're gonna have to go to the police because every time that you leave uh, the European community you go to Gibraltar and then you get back you have to report uh, back to uh, to Europe in the case of Patricia that she does have a passport that is not from Europe and uh, myself we have to uh, go to the police and how I wish it was that easy to sail into your new destination on a beautiful sunny day. Have all your boat and personal documents ready to go talk to the lady at the Customs and Immigration Office. Just you there, no lines, in and out in a few minutes. In theory, that's how it should have been. I even took my notebook where I had all the step-by-step -step instructions so I could have the Customs Authority verify we were re-entering Europe and the 18 months cruising permit would start. But because of our new reality, I had to make an appointment first online and then follow to the office. In other words, get a chair, get very comfortable and wait a few weeks before I could return for the appointment. Honestly, maybe that will only be done whenever we stop in Valencia for the winter time. Time will tell. And today we did motor and uh, we arrive in here at uh, this anchorage where we're gonna spend the night uh, tonight. We left uh, Marbella, which is right there. We uh, motored pretty much all day long and we're gonna be getting here to La Ejadura. Uh, that's the name of this anchorage. Yeah. We're just gonna spend the night here. So tomorrow we go to a marina that is called Almerimar. And the reason why we're gonna be going for, uh, to this marina is that there's a very strong wind coming our way and we don't want to be out here. We want to be uh, very sheltered. So we're gonna spend maybe three, uh, four days maximum at this uh, marina when the turn, uh, the winds will turn again and we can continue our route towards uh, Ibiza and the Balearic Islands. So we're arriving here, uh, it's eight o'clock right now. Uh, sun does not go down until uh, probably 9, 9, 10. So we still have like daylight uh, to anchor tonight. Feeling in my bones I can feel it in my face I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right Make up for what I lost I was down but things are looking up I wanna get high by surprise by you want you to make my and we're leaving here La Ejadura the anchorage that we spent the night it was pretty calm no wind whatsoever but we had a little bit of uh, waves hitting us on the side so during the night joy was like this the entire night it was fine uh, we were able to sleep Patricia didn't like very much, but it was fine. We had a good night of uh, sleep. Today, we're gonna go to Almerimar, which is about 45 nautical miles from where we are. And we're gonna be there for a couple of days waiting for the wind that is against us to change so we can uh, sail uh, towards the Balearic Islands. So today is gonna be another day of a very calm uh, seas, almost no wind. So we're gonna motor and we're gonna sail whenever there is some wind. And one of the reasons we stopped here at uh, La Ejadura, this beach to sleep, was not only to cut our trip uh, towards Almerimar, Al but it was all also to pay for our new sail that we have ordered uh, from UK sales in Torremolinos. Uh, Andy uh, came to us here at the beach to receive the payment and uh, I believe in three weeks we're going to be getting our new Code Zero. 
Uh, this is a sail that was highly recommended to us by Peter uh, from Sailing Anahata. And uh, he loves the sail because he can sail a little bit of uh, almost like upwind, very low wind uh, angles up to, uh, I would say, 55, 60. So the Code Zero would go very good. We also have the Janiker, which that's the sail that we ordered with the boat from Incident. And uh, this other sail, the Janiker, it's very good for higher angles and has been serving us very, very well. But here in the Med, uh, most of the time it's like this, or you have a lot of wind or you have very low wind. So uh, I think the Code Zero is gonna serve us extremely well. So we're excited about getting this uh, this code zero and whenever we get it i'll film here i'll do a review so i'll show it to you exactly what we think what are our first impressions and uh so you can make a decision for yourself if code zero jenniker what is this the setup that you're gonna have on your boat and since we got joy uh over there in Los sables we never opened uh this closure that we had here because it was pretty cold and uh, getting to the med yesterday was the first day and uh, we were able to uh, open the entire front here uh, so we can have some breeze and air coming in and it wouldn't be uh, as hot. So it's another world whenever you have it open. It's almost like uh, having sunglasses and no sunglasses. You can see everything on the outside. It's amazing how much dust uh, you get on your solar panels and everywhere else in your boat whenever you stay at anchor. Look at this fine uh, line of uh, dust that we have here on the panels. And we had received several messages in regards of our headsets that we utilize uh, whenever we are anchoring or getting into the marina. So I'm gonna give you guys some, uh, uh, some information about those headsets. Uh, I have like two different models because whenever I bought this one, as you can see here, I thought it was like uh, two that, that I would get for the price of 200, but it was actually only one. So I first bought this one, which is the S. <laughs> PH model which uh, it is a little bit more manual here on the side and uh, and then I, I realized just came one so I had to buy another one a last minute I was leaving the United States and they they didn't have like the same model so I bought this one just to um, you know because that was the only thing that was available as you can see you don't have a knob so it's a little bit more electronic so it was good because we utilized both of them and we could see the difference. So this one which is like more of a, a touch button called Boom model and the other one is called SPH from Senna. Senna are the ones that manufactured those uh, headsets. 
So uh, I personally like the SPH better, the, the one with the knob. Uh, it seems much more sturdy uh, than the uh, the other one. They connect to each, uh, to each other, so they work pretty well. And uh, I highly recommend for the simple fact that every time that you're getting to an anchorage and you're going into a marina, you're already kind of stressed out because uh, sometimes in an anchorage there's a lot of wind and you cannot hear your uh, pier over there in front. And uh, whenever you're getting to the marina, it's even worse because you have to communicate where it's gonna hit and so on. So those things, it's funny because whenever we had them on, me and Patricia, we talked to, to each other almost like whispering. And we felt like it had like a calming effect on us. Uh, besides the fact that you're not screaming to each other. Every, every time that you raise your, uh, your voice, even though you don't mean it, uh, the other person thinks you're mad and so on. So, you know, I highly recommend, really like, so sorry if I'm talking too much here, but a lot of people asked about it. So uh, I bought it in the United States, but they sell in Europe as well. In the States, uh, the SPH is a little bit cheaper uh, than the uh, Boom, I think it's $10 cheaper. So it's right around $200. And here in Europe, it's a little bit more expensive. I think it's about 10 or 20% more expensive than I, I got over there uh, in the United States. But thumbs up for those uh, headsets, they're lifesavers. And today we arrived pretty late here at our Anchorage at Almerimar. We decided not even to go inside of the marina and uh, stay at Anchorage tonight. And it's just a beautiful sunset here. Check it out. We decided to stop here at this marina and wait for about three days because we have that wind that is called Levante that is going to be very strong coming in tomorrow. 